Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples. Yesterday was Mother's Day, and so we celebrated mothering love. That's actually the daily word for the day. And what's so fun about this image is that we see a mother dog with two of her pups. Well, on the screen, when we brought up the whole PowerPoint, there were five pups. You know, the loving care, which is the ideal of being a mother, the love and care that we give to each other multiplies our experience of life as we live it here on the earth plane. We're celebrating sacred life. And the question that we're holding from How Then Shall We Live, the book that we're studying in these seven weeks is, how will I live knowing I will die? It's really a poignant question because we all have mothers in common. Every single one of us has a mother and we wouldn't be here if we didn't as earth beings. And we're spiritual beings. And so there's this sense of, of life eternal that comes up for us. And to look at the question of how I will live knowing that I'm gonna die is just a really honest thing to do. We, uh, we come through birth, which is actually a death to where we've been living in utero. And then we live and we die over and over and over again, each time laying down our lives. Mothers do that for us. Because there's a totally unknown territory. When you get pregnant, you have no idea who you're giving birth to. You don't know how that's going to go, how it's going to end up. And yet, there's a willingness to, a faith that frees us to just say, okay, I'm going to do this. And of course, some of us are aware that we're pregnant and plan that out, and others are not at all. But there is always the birth and that involves a death. And so to companion each other, you know, we're not teenagers anymore. We're not like, I'm never gonna die. We know that we're here to be with each other through that process as young people, as elders, that we are family one for the other and it takes a whole village to do that. And so um, we just, this week, I would ask that you consider how it is that you're choosing to live your life, knowing that it's short, that it's temporal, what do you love? And be with what you love. Do what you love. Say the things that you have meant to say for however long you've meant to say it. Now is the time. And this is a fleeting experience. We're not getting ready to live life once we leave the planet. This is the place. This is the day for you to rejoice and be glad in. So happy Mother's Day to you, day after Mother's Day. But every day is a day to honor that mothering, caring, loving quality within you that you can use to share with yourself and with others as we journey one with the other in Christ's life. God bless you. Have a glorious week.